if you haven't seen my last video, I'm Mitzi Engel, and welcome back to the Marcos and Suckles channel. So, thank you so much for logging on, and if you saw my last video, you probably know one of the show's characters, Zick the Tiger. So, you guys probably, if you saw my last video, heard me say that Zig is always going to have this weird reason to be late for the group. And I told you guys in the comments to tell me your opinion. But there was a mix-up, and the comments were accidentally off, so I'm really, really sorry about that. So you can tell me your opinion. So I'm really, really sorry. But... But I still really hope that you guys like this show and you really enjoy watching. So, without further ado, today we're going to be doing another Marcos and Sungles episode, part two from last week's episode where they were talking about going to the Grand Canyon. Unfortunately, they don't actually end up going to the Grand Canyon because Zig insisted on driving and it did not go very well. So, they don't have to end up going to the Grand Canyon, but we still have some really funny stuff for you guys. And Zig is the whole reason why we are not going to the Grand Canyon today. It's not my fault! Zig, it totally is. <laughs> well, anyway, we also have some really funny bits for you guys today, including two productions that we call Little Trudy and Cucumber Cam. Okay, and before we get into the video, I want you guys to meet my guinea pig, Little One. Little one, look at the camera. Look at the camera, baby. She's very vocal. Yeah, okay, okay, we get it. Little one. She is very, very talkative. So you probably could have heard her like the whole time I was just talking. What? Are you silly? But anyway, let's get into the video. Oh, you're hey guys, before we get into the video, you have to see my guinea pig playing with the scarf. You are so silly. Are you going to play with the scarf? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you going to play with the scarf? Nope, little one's done. She's like, this is my private scarf time. Do not film me right now. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Bum -ba -dum. Big plan part two. Mm -mm. <laughs> Zig, why are you laughing? Lola loves to be the life of the party. She's super fun and really creative and likes arts and crafts. <laughs> because I was just thinking <laughs> when Minnie was wanted to learn how to cook and she was going to make blueberry muffins. But she blew up the kitchen because she's such a horrible cook. So she went to Roxy's cooking school. And why are you laughing at that? <laughs> because she ends up burning down the cooking school, remember? Hmm. What have I done? I put down the place. I tried to warn you. Hey, you totally burnt that place down. And I was a student. Tucker. Best friends with Biscuit. He likes to play superhero and he loves pretzels. And I mean loves pretzels. I was trying to make pretzels. You got any of those, by the way? I have a gummy bear. <sighs> Never mind. Oh, yeah, I remember that part. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> remember when she also tried making them again? Oh, yeah, that was in your house, right? Yeah, and she ends up almost like burning down our house. <laughs> What's funny about that? It was your house, too. Huh? 
Ugh, never mind. Too. Why are you laughing? I don't understand. What, what are you talking about? Never mind. Just. <sighs> anyway, I need to go do arts and crafts. Bye, Zig. <laughs> hey, Lola. Chewy. Best friends with two other characters, Ostra the Ostrich and, and Curly the Cat. Chewy is a really nice sloth who is very slow, but once again, very friendly. What's up? Oh, I was just talking with Zig. Oh, I thought I heard her weirdly laughing again. Yeah, I'm going to go do some arts and crafts. Oh, cool. Hey, you remember that time when that bird stole Anna's shoe? Hmm. Time to put on my boot. Anna, super nice, you know, super nice friend. And she loves to do fun tricks and go on adventures, but sometimes gets a bit too risky when doing stunts. Time to put on my boot. <sighs> hey, bird, that's my boot. Come back here. Huh. Oh, yeah, I remember that time. Yeah, that was an odd day. Yeah, sure was. I'll see you later, Chewy. Bye, Lola. Bye. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Hey guys, if you want to see more of our awkwardly weird videos, please subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of our films. And if you like this video, please leave a like. Once again, we're very sorry for the comment mix-up, and you won't be able to tell us your opinion on why Zig is late for the group this time. Oh yeah, didn't we forget to have Zig late for something? Yeah, I think we did. Okay, let's just add that in the script really quick. I'll see you later. I got some delicious fresh green leaves for me for lunch. Have my name on it. Chewy, I think you got that script a bit messed up. Messed up. Okay, I got some green yummy leaves for me to eat and they have my name on them. See you later. Close enough. <laughs> Zig, you were supposed to be here half an hour ago. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry I was late. It's just I had something really important to get done. What? Well, I had a family dinner, but, but you know, um, you know, I had to be there, so uh, I had to take up a bit of my time, so that's why I was late. Ziggy, what family dinner? 
You know, I am your little sister. Huh? Uh, oh, not our family. Another family that I know. The Stones. The Stones? Who are the Stones? Oh, wait, Zig, do you mean stones as in actual rocks? Yeah, really nice family. Ugh, never mind, Zig. Okay, um, I just, ugh. Mrs. Stone even taught me as nice manners at the table. Could you pass the salt, Zig? Sure, Mrs. Stone. Zig, rocks are a animate objects and they are not alive and do not have families well this one does all right you guys i really hope you like this week's video so now coming up we have some more funny bits and once again like chewy um very kindly brought out please subscribe down below thanks chewy you're welcome okay so don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below if you don't want to miss out on any more of our videos. And I hope you like our, our new characters, which we did not introduce in our first one. Well, um, such as Tucker, Chewy, and Lola, and Anna. So thank you guys so much for watching. So now we're going to get on to more funny bits, including Little Trudy and Cucumber Cam. So let's go on to our new production, Little Trudy. Alright you guys, I really hope you liked our bit, little Trudy, who is, you know, crazy. Because apparently she doesn't understand the meaning of hold your horses. Which, if there's any little kids out there who doesn't know what that expression means, it means to wait. Hold your horses. It means to wait and hold on. But little Trudy apparently took that riddly and thought that she was originally supposed to hold a horse. <laughs> Typical Trudy. Okay, but now we're going to be getting on to our next bit, Cucumber Cam. And as a little one watches the show, she is just laying down on their scarf. Do you like your scarf, baby? Oh, that's so cute. Hey guys, guess what? I did some research and I found out that some cats are scared of cucumbers. Isn't that weird? So I also found out that Zig is terrified of them. So we're going to be playing some pranks and and this is what I call cucumber cam. So we're going to play some pranks with her and use some cucumbers to scare her. Okay, let's start going. This dumb math. Okay, so if I subtract 5 from 27, then I get, um, 10, maybe? Uh, uh, maybe 3? Uh, I don't know! Ah! 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 Huh, I think I look so good in this dress. Too bad it's too small. Okay, guys, I really hope you liked this week's episode, and don't forget to log on to our video next week. Hit subscribe so you don't miss out, and thank you so much for logging on. Once again, really sorry about the comment mix-up, and I really hope you liked this episode. And leave a like if you liked it. And kids, I really hope you liked Cucumber Cam, but don't forget, if your cat really is afraid of cucumbers, do not scare it. This is not fair to the cat. And frankly, I'm sure you guys have your fears as well. And you probably feel the same way the cat does if you were scared by something. Take spiders, for example. I'm terrified of spiders. So if I saw a spider, 
then I would be terrified. And if a cat saw a cucumber, which it might be afraid of, then it would feel exactly the same way you would if you saw something that you were terrified by. So please do not scare your pets because this is not fair to them and they frankly have no idea what's going on or why this is happening. So it's just not very nice for your pet. So thank you guys for watching. I really hope you liked today's bits and we'll see you next week. Bye.